Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be playing a game called Dungeon Full Dive. Now, this is a game I've been looking forward to and has been on my radar for quite some time now. And anybody that is a Dungeons & Dragons fan or a tabletop RPG fan, this is a game that I think you're going to want to get into. This game allows you to play cross-platform between flat screen and VR, but basically, it allows you to create your tabletop worlds in a virtual environment. So they finally released a demo for this, and we are definitely going to hop into it and check it out. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look here and see what we got going on as far as what the game actually looks like. The air is thick and filled with dread. You know that the end is near, but there is no turning back. As you approach the unsuspecting beast, slowly emerging from the shadows, you prepare for the inevitable showdown. What will you do? I draw my bow, ready to shoot the dragon's weak point. My rapier is ready. I will coat it with my oil of sharpness. I prepare to cast Fire Shield. I would like to. Rage! Oh my serious? god! Remember the guard? We worked so my plan worked flawlessly! Actually... People, he has a point, I guess. Plus, the dragon has already noticed, so. Wicked beast, fear me! Tell me, adventurers, what will you do with the power of Dungeon Full Dive? So, as you can see, I'm super stoked on it. There's all kinds of things going on. I've been in their Discord for a little while now. You know, I really like the cross-play with a, a keyboard and VR. Um, it, it's absolutely insane. Um, if you are a Dungeons & Dragons player, there's stat integration for the 5th edition, which is absolutely awesome. Um, you're basically creating your own worlds, creating your own characters, and uh, apparently you can possess your, your mini your character there and play from the view of the character in your world so i am super stoked to try this we are definitely going to be trying this in vr to see how it goes because i think that is going to be the best way to experience this game full blown uh so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and hop into it uh we will be playing through i uh, quest 2 uh through the air link so let's see how this demo goes all right so here we are in the demo itself and this is considered the map building demo uh so we're not actually going to get to see a full gameplay or how it actually plays out but we are going to get to see today how uh the world is created and as you could see here uh it looks absolutely beautiful so far uh we are going to have some cartoony effects uh as of now but First and foremost, we always check out the options. So we have a player height, so we can auto set that, which is great. Uh, so that'll allow us to sit down and things of that nature. Uh, we got vignette modes, which I always disable. Uh, looks like we have smooth turning. Uh, we have uh, smooth locomotion or dash, which is great. Um, always love that. And then uh, some mini turn mode. Okay, so what I really like about this is eventually you are able to possess your own character in the actual world, which is great. So all of these uh, you kind of want to set if you're in the VR mode, uh, basically to how you would normally play any VR game. So and we'll get more into that here soon. Video, we will definitely put that on Ultra. 
we have our audio settings so you have input so if you're talking through a microphone you have output too which is absolutely fantastic you know ambiance effects the whole nine yards your basic audio settings uh controls look pretty simple and easy there uh you gotta open your net or you open your notebook with y uh, your move, your pause, your tug left or tug right. And I'm pretty sure the tugging is going to be for um, how you move, kind of like on Demio, when you are actually uh, like moving around the tabletop. That's what tug means. Uh, so you got your UI and objects and things like that. Uh, so it looks like you got some miniature controls, and this is when you're actually playing your character there. Uh, so you can run and crouch and, and crawl, which is cool. Uh, general controls. This is just for placing your board pieces and things like that. So pretty, pretty cool. I like that a lot. Fairly simple controls. Um, and then you have uh, basically name tags, which is, is pretty cool. Um, let's see. So miniature tags I'll always have on. And then... Uh, the god mode i'll probably only have who's talking so that sounds like it's a, a plan to me all right so some basic settings there which are fairly simple so let's go ahead and check out the characters you can build your own characters which is really really cool and fun so let's go ahead and hop right into it so you got your body here uh, you can be an elf, and it basically has a description it looks like, and kind of a breakdown of what that species is. And I will definitely make sure you guys can all read this in case you want to pause on it. Uh, you got a dwarf. Very cool. Half orc. And you have a Tefling, I believe that's how you say that. Dragonborn. Like I said, feel free to pause this at any time if you want to check out the descriptions of each character. But basically you're able to make, a cre make and create a character uh, to your own liking, which is absolutely fantastic. Like that a whole lot. Got a half-elf there. I think we're going to go with a half-orc. And then let's see, uh, you can change the size of them however you'd like, which is pretty cool. like that a lot. You have male and then you have female. You can definitely turn the character around and kind of spin it. Look at it. Bring him down a notch. You can set the skin tone. Since we're an orc, we'll kind of go with a, a greenish, which will be cool. And you can move on to hair, or, or face, should I say. Uh, only a few options at the moment for the face, so there's nothing too crazy going on there. Uh, but you can kind of change the colors a little bit, which is cool. Um, I'm sure more options will definitely be added in here uh, sooner or later. This is kind of just a demo right now, so I'm, I'm sure it's just kind of showing you uh, some of the basics. Uh, so that was hair, and you can change the color to whatever you want. I'm going to keep it red. That was kind of cool. Then we have a beard. We can go none or full or just a mustache. We definitely want to go full full beard there. Eyebrows. You can change that a little bit, which is cool. Give them different colors if you want to. Then your eyes. So you can choose the left or right eye by itself, which is neat. So there you go. That's kind of some uh, some basic settings there for your character. Like I said, nothing too crazy at the moment. I'm sure a lot of it will be added. Uh, then we can move on to colors here. And you can actually change the colors of your hat. Go ahead and do an armor here, which is very cool. Kind of make my guy look like a samurai. That'll be pretty neat. Definitely pretty cool. And you got your pants. Definitely have to go with these, that's for sure. No doubt about it. And your feet. You got boots, which is dope. Like those. So that's pretty cool. I think uh, my character looks pretty neat. I'm hoping there's going to be a lot more options in it. That'll be really, really cool to see. 
uh, definitely is going to be needed for something like this. Uh, next, you have a character sheet here, and you can kind of pretty much uh, name your character, whatever you want to name it, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, it has specs. And basically, you can know, add your subclasses and your species. Uh, you can add strength up there if you want to have a bunch of strength. You want to have a bunch of charisma. You know, it's 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 very very cool. Um, basically, you're just like adding things here. Uh, you know, you got your base stat, and then you can uh, kind of have like a plus twenty or whatever for whatever reason. And you know, that's all based on the the dungeon master. Um, you have your skills on the right side, which is really cool. Uh, just all you can pretty much manipulate everything that's on here for your character. Uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, kind of even has like what your XP is and and what kind of milestones you have. It's just uh, all around able to throw a bunch of stats on your character and be able to look at it at any time. So I think this is really cool. Um, very interesting. And I'm sure, you know, your your whoever is running the game or world can take care of your stats and stuff like that too. But as of now, um I'm you know, I'm sure you start with some type of base stuff like you really would in Dungeons and Dragons, and uh basically you kind of add on to it as you're playing with certain uh you know worlds and games. So you go ahead and save it in the top right, and there's your card all finally finished up, which is really neat. Very, very cool, and I like to save up here just in case. And that brings you back to the main menu. Uh, so, we'll go ahead and look at the map building here. And you have, uh, basically, maps that you've created, which is really cool because you are able to upload those, and anybody can download them um, by searching the name after you've named your map, basically. And I guess that's how um, you're able to link up and download the same map so everybody's playing on the same map when uh, you actually create a party. So there's official ones, there's public maps, um, and that's kind of just like the maps that everybody's kind of created, and you can just download them. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the... Uh, official map here and we'll just take a look at um, the the base city so we'll go ahead and download that and then basically we'll go ahead and load it and we'll see how this works Now, I really think this game is going to be a game changer for Dungeons and Dragons players or anybody that's all about tabletops. Um, I think it's just going to be absolutely amazing. So here we are. We are definitely uh, over and able to see uh, the world, and we can kind of manipulate it and things like that. I accidentally picked up uh, these these pieces, so it's kind of kind of awkward for what I just did there, but it's very, very cool. So you can drag yourself around the, the tabletop um, by holding down your A or your X button and kind of drag yourself around like you would in, in Demio, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, very, very interesting. Uh, as you can see there, my character is right there, uh, which you can take control over at any time. And basically, in VR... Um, or even with flat screen, since you're, they're able to cross-play, uh, take control of that character and basically uh, go in and, and really see exactly what the character's seeing. I uh, like you can get real close down into the board and, and look inside and see you know what's going on. Very, very cool. Uh, very, very interesting for sure. Um, with the actual uh, Y button, you can look at your character stats at any moment in time, so you have that accessible. Very nice. Um, you have a dice here, uh, which you can roll up to five dice at a time, and then basically you can uh, roll that just however you'd like, and it kind of shoots out everywhere, and you can look at the dice and... Uh, once they're all done rolling, it gives you a total sum right here instead of having the actual look at the dice. So that's very, very nice. Uh, really do like that. Um, 
But what another thing you can do is you can actually uh, look at the flooring of the houses from above. So, you know, if you got something going on in the tavern here, uh, you know, you can put the roof on it or look at the second floor and, and, and kind of like peep into it to see what all your characters are doing, which is super, super cool. I like that. Um, looks like there's a ruler. I'm not sure what that's for. It's not really showing anything, but uh, definitely, definitely nice. Now, let's go ahead and hop in and take possession of our character here. Uh, we're just going to go full dive and as you can see i even have the brim of my hat which is absolutely amazing uh very very neat but you can definitely take possession of your character and uh walk around the world and experience it like your character actually would now i really think this is where things are going to get absolutely insane because you're really going to be able to uh check out the viewpoint and get really immersed especially in vr uh what your character's looking at uh how they're they're exploring the world and things of that nature so as you can see you can walk in here you know if uh if one of the quests is telling you to go to the tavern and drink a a, a mug of you know whatever you can take a drink of it you know you can eat some food i mean there's all kinds of things you can do here and it's all kind of just set up however your game master wants it to be set up. So, uh, very, very interesting. Um, basic controls here uh, for the for being in virtual reality. Um, you know, we already have something for smooth turning and adjusting height and all that, but what I'm failing to see is for your smooth turning here, uh, there's really not a speed dial, because right now it's extremely slow. That is me turned all the way to the left. I'd like to be able to uh, make that much faster if I could, so that's definitely something you want to add for sure. Uh, make some of those things an option, but so far so good, and it, it's just amazing being able to come into a town and be able to experience, you know, everything firsthand in the view of your character. And I really think it's going to take things to a whole nother level for tabletop players. And uh, specifically, uh, it, it seems to be Dungeons and Dragons players is what this is really aiming out to be. Uh, so it's, it's very, very cool. Uh, and it's a great idea for a game. I mean, you really, you can't go wrong with it super super interesting and i've been waiting so long for this game to to show us a demo or something of that nature and we finally have one here so very very cool uh great concept and i i think you know people that like making the games and, and being a master of it uh this is definitely 100 percent something uh you're going to want to use to to keep your party interested and to really create those worlds that that you have in your head so very cool uh let's go ahead and actually check out uh the um world creator itself because i think that is probably one of the bigger things and what this demo is all about uh so let's go ahead and go back to map building here and we are going to create a new world and let's see what should we call it let's just call it trues news <laughs> why not <laughs> why not that's pretty cool and then you uh can actually put a description of it however you want a map true created and you can put a full description of it and it's it's you could just really kind of go all out with it uh you can select what kind of train terrain you want to go with here uh, which is very, very interesting. We're, ooh, we got some runes and a swamp terrain, a village terrain. Very, very cool. Let's go ahead and uh, let's just do... Where's the plane one? Yeah, let's just do the planes real quick. And we'll create that map. So as you can see, your asset browser pops up. Right when you spawn in, which is very, very cool. Um, and as you can see, we have a plane terrain here there is my character just kind of hanging out there he is 
But let's go ahead and uh, create something here. So we'll kind of go above and, and see what we can come up with. Um, as you can see, there's, there's all kinds of houses, which is very, very interesting. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll put a house down. We'll try to figure it out here first. There you go. There's a small house we can put down. We'll do the large house, though. There we go. There's a large house. And basically how you place objects, you can spin your hand around, um, it, with VR at least, and it kind of gives you a direction of uh, what you want to do or how you want to drop it. And there you go. There's our there's our house, which is very interesting. You could pick it up at any time and move it if you want to. You know things like that, which is makes things a lot easier. Okay, so there we go. There's just all kinds of things you could put around it if you want to. Stone pillars, walls. We can experiment a little bit. We'll put a we'll put a pillar there and a pillar there. Then we'll go ahead and we'll switch to, let's see, where's a stone wall? Put a, put a high stone wall out here, and you can really kind of just build it however you wish. And that the reward for all of this is, you know, you're building, building fit worlds for people to play their games in. So you want to kind of create something that's in your mind as best as you can. And I'm sure more assets will be added there and whatnot. But, you know, that's kind of just a gist of it right there. Um, so you can make full towns. You could throw a windmill out here, which is really neat. Uh, just all, all, kinds of, all kinds of stuff if you really want to. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll move over to environment. And as you can see, there's just all kinds of different things here you can put put out there. If you want to put a put a little boat out here for for everybody to you know possibly uh, check out or you know roll around in at some point, you can do that. I have a bunch of boats hanging out for everybody. All the villagers kind of rode in on them, so that's cool. House signs, carriages, you can do markets out here if you wanted to. You kind of create a little village market. Definitely pretty neat. Got a large tent, which is cool. You can just spin it around however you want. Very, very interesting the amount of things you can put on here. Um, so now we can kind of like go inside our house if we want to and, and, and check that out, which is really cool. Let's see. You can place all kinds of different things on there. If you want to do a little little campfire out front, you can. You know, you can place place beds pretty much anywhere. If I want to put a put a bed out here on the on the porch, I can, which I will, why not? <laughs> Just for shits and giggles. But I mean, you can really decorate and, and pretty much do anything you want. You know, I'm going to have a I want to have a deer head right at the top here cuz I can. There you go. You can add all kinds of forest, which is awesome. Very, very interesting. You know, we can create a big forest to walk through if we want to. Throw some some other other bushes and things like that around. So you can get kind of creative with this and do all kinds of things. I mean, you can. Throw weapons on the ground if you want. Let's see if this will do anything. Maybe I can pick that up. We'll see what happens with that. We'll do a sword and shield. We have items. All kinds of... We'll put a cooking pot right here next to the fire. Instruments. Throw a drum and drumsticks out there just because... If it'll let me kind of there it goes. 
consumables. We can have a, a piece of chicken sitting right here on the bed if I want to. That way I can pick it up and eat it. Piece of onion. Grab another piece of chicken. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, okay, so here's where it gets really cool. Is you can have all kinds of animals and creatures out here roaming around. We'll put a white horse just kind of chilling, doing his thing here. Maybe some a blue slime hanging out in the woods. Uh, a big old tree guy there. We got some wolves hanging out right there. And then one of my favorite things that I want to see here is the dragon. Look at the scale of the dragon here. I mean, that is just absolutely insane. We'll put him right here. Very, very cool. So you could you could do all kinds of things. It's it's absolutely insane the things you can do. Um, so before you exit out of it, uh, of course, you know you you definitely want to save it. There's always that. Um, but there's all kinds of options here. So once you load in the somebody's world, uh, you can actually like leave feedback um, or notes for when somebody logs in. So like when you log in, there's a text message saying, "Hey, uh, you know, added this today. Go check it out. You know, whatever the case may be. Uh, you can switch things uh, basically from night to day, and so on and so forth, which is very very interesting." Um, Go ahead and see if we can do that. So yeah, there's night there, midnight, rainy, sunset. So we'll keep it on the, the daytime there. Um, so there's a lobby with all the people in the room. Uh, you can even leave feedback for them. You know, if you found a bug or there's something going on with it, you can send that to the person, which is very, really cool. Uh, so you want to make sure you save anytime you are basically, you know, uh, doing this type of thing because uh otherwise you'll lose all your data then we'll just name this 12 real quick so it's easy to find but basically you know you save your map after you're done creating it and uh you basically can go back to the main menu now and uh we'll take a look at the world and see uh what it actually looks like if you're a player so you go back to map building and you go to my maps and now we can log log into the map I just made. Which is very, very cool. You can go ahead and do that at any time. Uh, so we'll go ahead and pull up our character and we will go into full dive solo here. And now we are playing my character as a actual person so let's go ahead and look see you can grab the sword and shield which is absolutely amazing so now you have a sword and shield uh we got our forest and our forest creatures here which is really cool very very neat very very interesting i just i love how you're able to have the freedom of creativity on this and you know everything's kind of to scale that's really really cool um and i'm sure you can add rules and things like that to your actual character and fighting characters and things like that uh you know everything that would make a full game uh be a full game of dungeons and dragons so absolutely love this look you can even look out the window and see the dragon super cool but i just want to show you the sense of scale with the dragon because that's super amazing to me i mean look at this thing look how big it is absolutely insane i mean it doesn't get any more immersive than that super super cool absolutely love this dungeon full dive make sure y'all wish list this i believe there's still a kickstarter going on for this so i will leave all the links in the description below on how to check this game out how to support them join their discord let's make sure this game gets done right because I think this is going to be the future of playing games like Dungeons and Dragons and anything that's tabletop. Um, really going into these immersive worlds and experiencing it. And once again, you're able to play this cross-platform. So you can play this in VR and on flat screen. 
Right now, it's only on Steam, but I'm sure it'll make its way to every other platform as soon as it can, as long as it gets the proper backing. Uh, definitely a game to look out for. And uh, I believe this is the demo for the map building is actually going on until the 29th of uh, June here of 2023. So check that out. Make yourself a world. If you do, let me know in the comments below the name of the world and I'll join it. Maybe we can try to get a game together and kind of just see how things work with more people in the world. But this is going to be insane and I cannot wait to see what more this game has in store. Uh, th this is going to be the most immersive experience ever for Dungeons and & Dragons and Tabletops. Uh, it doesn't get any better than this. I'm telling you, this is absolutely fantastic. So, as always, if you like what you saw, make sure you check out all those links below. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and stay tuned for more Dungeon Full Dive. Because I'm going to get addicted to this. There's no doubt about it. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you on the next video.